Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Zodice at the Farm, where I create these uh, tremendous garden glass flowers and more. If you're new to my channel, uh, I just wanna welcome you back to my creative space. And if you're not new to my channel, always thank you so much for returning and coming back to my creative space of art. All right, so today we're gonna be working on a new piece. It is a it is a four piece sunflower. I know how much everyone loves it when I create these sunflowers. So we are in it today. I'm gonna to go ahead and create one of these beautiful pieces. So I hope that you will stay with me because I'm gonna give you my tips from A to Z on how to make these gorgeous garden glass flowers for your home or for your garden. All right, so now let's move on to the list of items that you're gonna to need to complete this project. Stay with me. Okay, folks, let's go over quickly a list of items that you're going to need to complete this project. And always remember that I listed in the description box below, so there's no need to take notes. Everything is already provided uh, to you in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about all of the different things that you're going to need to complete this project. And the first thing that you're going to need is all the creativity you can bring to the table. That's very important. You know, when you're out looking for different flower petals that you want to make, just always make sure that you have like a vision of what it is that you would like to create that's really so important is to have that vision of creativity You're also going to need to have your protective eyewear as well as safety gloves you're going to need uh, to have a black magic marker to mark your plates. You're gonna need some rubber washers that you can obtain from Amazon or your local hardware store. You're gonna need a metal drill bit and you're gonna need this metal drill bit because you're gonna actually be opening up this uh, flower hook that I mount uh, onto the back of each of my flowers. This hole is just a little bit uh, too narrow. So I take this uh, drill bit to go ahead and open that up. You're also going to need to have a flower hook or any kind of hook. Okay, it doesn't have to be a flower hook. I just, because I'm working creatively on these glass flowers, I love the the uh, flower motif uh, to finish off the piece. You're going to need the toggle bolt. And that toggle bolt is 3 16 by uh, 3 inches. Okay, that's the size that I'm use, using based on the weight of all of my pieces. Okay, so this really does uh, help uh, to secure the plates uh, very securely and safely, which is really important. Okay, you're going to need to have your diamond tip drill bits. You can get these from Amazon or your local hardware store. You're also going to need, uh, if you're mounting the flower outside, this is a chair cover that I use when working with uh, the mounting hook. I've got two screwdrivers that I use. I use a cordless screwdriver and I have a standard screwdriver. But one will be fine, I just have two. You're gonna need some Goo Gone or some uh, Windex, okay? When you're gonna wipe everything down, make sure there's no grease or grime uh, on your pieces. You're gonna need stabilizers uh, when working uh, with the glass when you're cutting. You're gonna need some water and that water will help to um, soften the glass as we're cutting with the drill. You need a Ryobi cordless drill or a drill press. My drill press that I use is a 12 inch Ryobi. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything. If I've left anything out, as always, it'll be listed in the description box below. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the cutting stage of this particular video. All right, stay with me. Okay, folks, I wanna go ahead and show you the piece that we're gonna be working on today. Now, this is going to be, as I indicated in the intro, a four-piece sunflower. Okay, so that's what it looks like uh, with everything unattached. Really a beautiful piece. It has a lot of dimension to it. And uh, just to show you the different pieces, so this is a sunflower bowl. It's a bird bath, actually, okay, that I've obtained. And this is uh, 18 inches wide, so it's a very large uh, piece of glass, okay? And it is an absolutely magnificent, let me turn it around, magnificent piece. Next piece is this uh, beautiful sunflower piece that I got from the marketplace, and it is also uh, a sunflower. Okay, so that will be the second piece. This flower petal that I love so much. Put that right there in the center. And then I've got this metal orb that I got from Pier 1 that will uh, finish off the complete flower. So that's one, two, three, four pieces. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and start the cutting phase. All right, see you soon. Here we are at my drill press station and I've got everything set up here. I've got my water. I've got both of my plates that I'm going to be cutting and both of them, uh, I've already marked the center of these pieces. All right, so I've got that one and I've got this one. Okay, both of them are marked. Hi folks, okay, we are on the last uh, large piece of uh, this sunflower piece. It's the main sunflower piece that we're gonna go ahead and cut now. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera down so I can show you how to cut this large piece with a cordless Ryobi drill. Okay, stay with me. Okay, here we are cutting the final piece. I wanna go ahead and show you that I've got two supports here, all right, that I'm gonna be using. And this uh, this is just a piece of wood here that I'm gonna be using. And this is just a round piece of cardboard. And I've generally sent this, set the flower right over the top. I've already marked the center for this piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water right there in the center where I've marked that. So just start off slow, don't be scared. Just know that you've already gotten this finished just as beautifully as you want it to, but take your time, just go slow and until it grabs that glass and then you can proceed forward. Okay, so now that we are finished with the cutting of this particular piece, let's go ahead and move on to assembly. Okay, see you soon. Hi folks, okay, we are at the assembly stage of this particular video. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that camera down so you can see how I assemble these beautiful pieces to bring it to a blooming sunflower. Okay, stay with me. Here we are at assembly already, I can't even believe it. All right, I've got everything set up here to my right that I'm going to be using. Let me adjust that just a little bit, okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is separate my plates out and I'm gonna start with the main supporting plate. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that over. First thing that I'm gonna do is take my flower and I'm gonna go ahead and put a washer directly behind it. That's a rubber washer. Take my toggle bolt and stick that straight through just like that. Then I'm gonna take my my uh, sunflower piece and I'm gonna go ahead and put that straight through and then turn this over right on its side just like that. And then take another rubber washer and place that right there, okay, just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and reach for my other pieces and I'm gonna take this gorgeous sunflower that I drilled a hole in and I'm gonna set that right there just like that. Okay, and then take a, another washer and place that washer right there. Then I've got my next piece, which is our smaller flower petal, and I'm gonna take another washer and stick that right there in the center. Then I've got my toggle bolt that I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna reach to the back of the flower and grab that uh, flower hook and I'm gonna put my finger over the back of that bolt just so I can keep it still. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and screw this down, not all the way down, just about midway. And then I'm gonna take my metal orb 
And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in just like that until I hear it click. And it did click. I hear, did hear the clicking. Wait a minute. I've got this here on the side. So this is a good thing for me to run into while I'm doing this with you. Is that's why it's important not to uh, screw that all the way down because you do want it to go in. Okay. All right. So there it is. I've secured both sides. I can feel the toggle sit on both sides of that. Uh, centerpiece. Okay, so that metal orb. Now I'm going to carefully reach here and turn this over on its side very carefully. And then I'm going to grab grab my drill. Put this down just a little bit. Make sure it's in the forward position. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed to tighten. Holding the ball in my other hand. I can, and it's, it's not a problem to let that slip out of your hand. Then I'm going to follow up with my other the other screwdriver. Okay, let me turn this over just to see how this is turning out, how that looks. And that looks really good. Okay, I need to tighten just a little bit. Just like that, not too hard because you don't want to split the glass. Okay. Wow, here we go. Isn't this piece amazing? So it's one, two, three, and then four. Let me turn it to the back. You can see it in the center. And then let me turn it, oops, let me turn it around just one more time. Does not look magnificent. It really gives it a multi-dimensional feel because of this second piece sitting on top of this reflective piece here, this bird bath. And then this beautiful rimmed flower here in the middle, followed by that metal black orb to really give it that sunflower look. All right, so let me show you what this looks like on an internal stand, as well as an external mounting stand that you will be mounting outside. Okay, stay with me. And there it is. It's going to really, really shine in the sun when it penetrates all of these different hues of the oranges and the golds and the yellows. It's just gonna simply shine so beautifully in the sun. And it'll sit beautifully in the sun in your home as well if you don't want to put it outside. I mean, it's just such a focal point, this particular sunflower. Yeah, so I really, really like how this piece came out. It's simply amazing. All right, folks, that's pretty much it for today with regards to the creation of this gorgeous garden glass sunflower. If you have any questions, you can email me at my website at www.zodiciatthefarm.com or you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button so that these particular videos can get out to others who are interested in creating their own garden glass art. Okay, I hope you have a blessed weekend and a blessed new week, and I hope to see See you next time here at Zodiac at the Farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Bye-bye.